everyone. Welcome to Math in a Nutshell. In this video, we're going to integrate sine fifth of x between 0 and pi over 2. The identity we need to know for this integration is Pythagorean identity for sine squared of x. Let's start. Sine x is in the odd power, sine fifth of x. We're going to break it into even power. So sine squared of x squared times sine of x dx. Sine squared of x squared is sine to the fourth times sine x is sine to the fifth. What's our next step? Our next step is substitute sine squared of x with our identity. What is sine squared of x? It equals to 1 minus cosine squared of x. Let's substitute that. 1 minus cosine squared of x. We have squared here and sine of x dx. After this point, we are going to do normal u substitution. What is our u in this expression? Our u is cosine of x. If cosine of x is u, what is du? Negative sine of x dx. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Let's substitute u. 1 minus, instead of cosine squared of x, we're going to write u squared. And we have another squared sign here. Sine x dx is our du. As you can see here, this is the du. And we have negative sign here. We can pull negative sign to the front. And instead of sine x dx, we can write du. The next step is to FOIL this parenthesis. So if we FOIL this expression, we're going to get 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth du. And we have negative sign in front. Now we can find the antiderivative of the each expression. What is the antiderivative of 1 with respect to u? u minus. What is the antiderivative of u squared? 1 third times u cubed. So 1 third times 2 is 2 third u cubed. It's going to be like 1 third and 2 is already there. So it's going to be 2 third u cubed. What is the antiderivative of u to the fourth? 1 fifth of u to the 5. We are raising power. We are adding 1 and dividing by the power. And calculate it between 0 and pi over 2. Okay, let's bring u back. But before that, we can distribute the negative sign. So if we distribute the negative sign, we're going to have negative u plus 2 third u cubed minus 1 fifth u to the fifth. Evaluate it between 0 and pi over 2. Okay, after this point, we're going to use fundamental theorem of calculus 1, f of b minus f of a. But first, let's bring u back. Bring u back. Let's substitute u back. What was u? u was cosine of x. So negative cosine of x plus 2 third cosine cube of x minus 1 fifth cosine fifth of x. here. This is our f of b.
minus, let's use our f of a, this is our f of a. Okay, what is our b, pi over 2? What is our a, 0? So f of b minus f of a. What is the value of cosine pi over 2? Cosine pi over 2 equals to 0. So cosine pi over 2 equals to 0. What's the value of cosine of 0? 1. Cosine of 0 equals to 1. So if we calculate, this is going to be 0 plus 0 times 2 thirds is 0 minus 0 times 1 fifth is 0 minus 1 times negative is negative 1 2 third times 1 is 2 third minus 1 fifth times 1 is 1 fifth so we can cancel out this cause 0 and we have negative negative 1 plus 2 third negative 1 fifth okay after this part is algebra is just arithmetic so this whole expression is this whole expression is negative 8 15 and we have negative sign in front if you multiply negative times negative 8 15 it's gonna be just 8 15 positive so this is the final answer thank you for watching don't forget to like on the way out please leave comments on the types of questions you'd like to see see you at the next video